boy. Did the uh, Lions, 37-10 winners over the South Sea Sharks, come to the party, gents? It was a wonderful first half. The Sharks were able to claw back some yep. respectability to the scoreline, uh, but it was Lions all the way. Oh, the, the, the first half was sublime. They were absolutely fantastic. Remember that the, that the Lions had a number of players who played with the Springboks for three weeks. The Sharks had a few players, but uh, the majority of the squad were training with the Express uh, desire to win this game because it was going to save their season. So it was a highly motivated shark side that went to play the Lions. The Lions just played irresistible rugby for 40 minutes. They held on to the ball. Their accuracy was great. Their, their acceleration into contact at the breakdown was good. The, the speed of the ball was fantastic for Faf and for uh, Yankees. The variety in their game was excellent. Their kicking game was good. It was just everything you wanted to see from a South African team, and uh, they showed it. In the second half, let's just understand that the players were rested, number yes. of players were rested, which I think allowed the, the Sharks back. And they did take their foot off the pedal. The games won at 37, whatever it was, 30-odd yeah. nil. Yeah. And uh, so they conceded a couple of tries. But it, it's, it was a great result for, for the Lions. And uh, they thoroughly, thoroughly deserve being the best team in the competition at the moment. For the neutral, it was still a wonderful performance. And for me, one of the highlights, the crowd. Absolutely, 33,000 people. Wonderful. But I was a little bit disappointed with the Sharks' performance because they had a little bit of a lifeline. But uh, w the way the Lions played, they just took him off the table. I think Lambie was very important for them. Uh, mm. One thing April in this game showed that he lacks experience, that yeah. he lacks a bit of calmness in the face of a determined attack and a determined defence. Uh, he, you know, he, was, he was really under pressure today and made a number of errors. His kicking game wasn't good. His tackling wasn't good. And, uh, and I think it was a bit early to get him into the Springbok setup yep. uh, sure. personally. But if you look at Elton, who has uh, had the opportunity to to learn and learn from his mistakes. I mean, he now is really playing great rugby. Uh, New Zealand conference, and this is what the South African group looks like. There's co two conferences, Africa 1, Africa 2, and yes, you have seen it correctly. The Lions, 47 points, gentlemen, meaning they are now the overall leader in this year's Super Rugby. Well, it's, they thoroughly, thoroughly deserve to be. I think that first half, was the, uh, was the best I've seen them play virtually the whole season. They were absolutely devastating on attack. They, uh, they scrummed incredibly well. They put the, the, the Sharks under huge pressure whenever the Sharks had the ball. And things just didn't bounce, bounce well for the Sharks. So 27-0, give the Sharks credit. They came back. But remember, too, that Ackerman and Swayze to Brain really took uh, five players off, uh, including Elton Yankees, in the whole front row with 20-odd 20, 20 minutes to go. So uh, the Sharks' scrum improved after that. And uh, you've got to give credit to Chili Boy and Ustazen, who, who scrummed well at the end of the game. And, uh, but, and the Sharks managed to score a couple of tries, but it was a comprehensive win by the Lions, which proves that they are clearly the best side in South Africa at the moment and probably our best chance of reaching semifinals or finals this year. Yeah. Just also, I think, Nas, um, from your perspective, I mean, if you look at um, the combination, the halfback partnership between Fab de Klerk and Alton Yankees and how well they've grown over these uh, couple of years in their performance today. Absolutely. And if you look at today, it was one of their better performances. If you look at Fab, how he played today. But we also did show at halftime how <clears throat> Alton is running straight and he's creating really opportunities for the players on his outside. Lionel today, <coughs> I believe, got a number of opportunities, and he did extremely well. So it just shows you, for the Lions, the way it's playing at the moment, it's really working. But it's really the hard work of the, of the loose forwards, as we mentioned, Ashwin, and also their scrumming. Their scrumming, absolutely superb in the first half. A couple of penalties. Yes, when the second stringers came on, maybe not the same impact, but overall, overall, the most important thing is for Johan Ackerman, he's got 23 players that he can actually call on any time. You know, in a more vital game, it might be one or two changes, not the whole front row. But overall, we've seen even, um, you know, everyone coming up, uh, coming on, absolutely superb. Yes, the Sharks did score 10 points, but um, I think that was actually uh, good for the Sharks yeah. because it would have been terrible to come out to Joburg and score zero. You know, there's an interesting, interesting point that was made after. A lot of people said test match rugby, you know, is a step up and players need to understand that, you know, your mistakes and errors cost more. Therefore, there's a tendency to play more conservatively. I'd like to take Mapu as an example, who, who had a very quiet three games yeah. in this World Cup, uh, not the World Cup, in, in the last uh, Irish test match series. And he, he it wasn't his fault. He got, I, I can't remember a pass that he got from D uh, Damien Dallander 
in three games mm -hmm. because uh, Damon Dallander was asked to take the ball up. So, uh, you know, if we could just get our attack, our Springbok attack, to replicate the Lions attack, I'd be so much more confident about our chances against New Zealand and Australia. Yeah, but I think, Nick, uh, just quickly, what we've seen is we've got the quality. We've got the players to do that. The yeah. most important thing is we must just go and do it.